giant. Eee! What's going on, Turner Fishing Family? So the Elite Series, the Bassmaster Elite Series are in town. They're out here right now. I haven't seen a single one of them back here, so don't think I'm over here taking people's fish, no. But on today's video, we're gonna see how well I would do if I was out here now throwing a frog, if I was in the Elite Series, kind of, I guess. Just see how much weight I could get on my home body of water. Uh, like I said, I haven't seen a single boat back here. So I don't even know if there's a bite back here or not. But we're gonna put this frog and this boat in places that it shouldn't go. And hopefully we catch a good one. You know, I'm thinking if we can catch around 15 pounds, that would be pretty good. Cause the average weight yesterday was like 17, 19 for, the, for you know the top 20. So we're gonna get out here, try not to hit no stumps. See if we can get a little bag going. Uh, we're almost 10,000 subscriber guys. We're only like 200 away at the time of making this video, so I'm sure we'll hit it very soon. That's freaking awesome. I appreciate every single one of you watching. Um, also, I got me a little money jar going but let's be honest you know i want to go fish other lakes and the only way i'm gonna do it is with the help of you guys at home you know buying jigs becoming members of the channel uh support me any other way you can and we're gonna put that money back now the initial goal is ten thousand dollars to some of you that's probably not even a lot of money but to me i mean i that's two, three years worth of saving, to be honest. And I'm not very good at saving money. But, you know, I want to spend $5,000 on a vehicle that can get me around at least South Carolina. You know, take a 60 to 100 mile trip and I not be worried about it, like going to Santee or going to Hartwell, uh, even Lake Greenwood or something like that. There's a couple crappy tournaments at Lake Greenwood I would like to get in. You know, I want to spend about 5K on a, on a vehicle. And then I, the more I've looked it up, you can get a, a Bass Tracker with a 50 on it, like a 2000 model Pro Team 17 footer for around 5K too. So this will go is about $10,000. It's gonna take a while guys. So I'm probably gonna be talking about it a lot on the channel. I think I got roughly about 40, 50 bucks saved already. So. You know, I ain't no rich man just because I fish for a living. You know, I, I live paycheck to paycheck just like everybody else. Some weeks I do really good and some weeks I don't. I'm not sitting here begging for money. All I'm asking you to do is do everything you've been doing. Buy some jigs, become members. You know, I don't want no handouts. So anyway, guys, let's go catch a bass. Probably a damn mud fish. Huh? Good little bass. <laughs> in here, boy. That's a dang four pounder. <laughs> oh! Yeah, three and a half, probably. 
Oh yeah, got them on that, that biz base too. Yeah, old chunky boy right there. Oh, I'm sure y'all seen, threw up in there that, that joker shot out that grass. Came and got him some with this. Old biz bait toad, a little natural color. I'll show y'all real quick. The pad did it. This is one of the best toads on the market, like hands down. I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that, but the way these toads work with a four, a four aught is probably the best hook, but I, I do have a five aught on. So I'm probably gonna go through a lot of plastic that way. But the way this toes is designed, as you can see, there's a rib right here for your hook. But what that does, the plastic is more dense on top. So what it's gonna do, if your toad lands like this, the more dense plastic is gonna float it up and actually turn it around. So got a lot of carp and gar in this grass right now, but I mean, that's a three and a half pounder. And I mean, he's dirt shallow. It's probably le less than a foot up there. So keep throwing it around, see what we can get. So I'm, I'm gonna call that one three and a half. He might've been four. I mean, he had a pretty good gut on him. I tried to get my scale to work yesterday, but I'm gonna show you how I'm rigging this. I mean, it's real simple. You just Texas rigging it, more or less. I'll say you're gonna go through a lot of plastic. Like I could probably use a screw lock and save a little bit but you want to line it up at the end and that's where you want to go in so i want to go in right here at the bottom that way it stays flush and you've got that i mean the way that it's designed right here like you don't stick on nothing but when you set the hook that hook pops out and it's over for them Heck yeah. Oh, feisty one. <laughs> he gave himself away. I'm not telling you guys, I am literally in less than one foot of water. I got my trolling motor up on the tackle box. Uh, probably pound and a half, two pounder though. He slurped that old perch, hack attack perch frog. Oh. Get an old picture of him real quick to send to my buddy. Let's let him go. Nah, it's been a little bit since I got a bite. Like, there's a lot of carp and gar back here. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I believe if we stick to it, fish as much of these grass patches as we can. I mean, it seems like if you hit them where they're at, you get a bite, so. That's the third bite of the day. I have one little one I missed. 
but I mean, we we in the thick of it. I, like, I ain't lying. We in 2.5 foot on that, so. Giant. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, excuse my language. That is a freaking giant. Come here. Yes. <laughs> That's a freaking seven pounder. Oh my God. That is a freaking tank, dude. Holy shit. Holy crap, man. <laughs> Heck yeah. Oh. Yeah, we're probably gonna give her six pounds. Oh my God. That's a stud, dude. Freaking dinosaur back here in the grass. Oh, dang, I wish I had my scale. Big old fat belly on her. Golly. That's what you call a grass monster right there, guys. Oh, let's get a couple of pictures and get her back. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, man. That is a freaking stud right there, guys. Heck yeah. So, yeah, I mean, we're going to give her six. I believe she might be a little bit bigger than six. But for the sake of not having a scale, we're gonna give her six. I knew there would be something. There's like a big grass mat right here. I don't know how well y'all can see that, but it's just like out here in the middle. And I literally caught that fish on a hack attack perch in the shad color. And the thing with this lure is you can walk it real good in the pockets, but what I love doing, like out here when there's open grass or coming through grass mats, is just wind it like a toad or a buzz bait. And the way this tail is, it'll bubble behind it and they cannot stand it. So we just went from six to 12 pounds. Oh man, what a rush, dude. God, I love frog fishing. Oh man, that fish got me jacked up. They say got I and N just nothing. Like I could, you could touch the bottom if you stuck your hand outside the boat. This is where these big river fish live. I don't know. If I ever decide to do more tournaments and stuff, I want to be known for frog fishing because I love it. Love it. Oh, take me a little break right now. Now I got to edit out all the cussing I did when I caught the fish. <laughs> uh, there's probably another one in here, but I'm going to give it a little break real quick drink the rest of this monster drink me a bottle of water because it is getting pretty 
pretty hot out here, guys. You gotta stay hydrated, y'all. All right, so we are headed back to the boat ramp. I went to crank my motor and my rope broke. <laughs> oh, luckily it cranked, thank God. So, hopefully it don't shut down because we running that trolling motor through all them weeds. That sucker about dead. But it's about 11.30 right now. We call, you know, a four or five, and then a six, six and a half, seven, I don't know. So on a, on a high spectrum, we call, well, we did catch that two and a half, three pounder too, so. On a high spectrum, we had three fish for 12, so if we count them as a seven and the other one as a five that would be three and two so that'd be 12 plus three that's 15 pounds for three fish so we're gonna say 13 pounds for three fish i guess on a low spectrum that's not bad i'm sure if i would have kept it up and hitting all these grass pockets i could have got two more I don't know what size they are, but I mean, the three bites I got, I mean, they were about an hour, hour and a half apart. Like you had to really fish, but I believe we could have mustered up probably, I don't know, 17, 18 pounds. But if we were fishing in the, in the elite, all I would have to do right now is run back and fish the Harris spawn to catch, you know, two, three pounders. And that'd be 21 pounds. Overall, awesome day. Hope you guys enjoy coming along with me. Probably about to go to the bridge right now and do a little crappy fishing, I guess. Because wherever I cut my motor off, that's where I'm at. But smash the like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch y'all on the next one.